Bonjour, mesdames and messieurs. In this episode, I'm going to show you the new option of Content Award Feel to be able to raise anything in your photo. Bonjour, mesdames and messieurs. My name is Serge Ramini. I'm a French photographer from the amazing cities of Paris, France. And in this episode, I want to talk to you about a new update in Photoshop on the Content Award Feel. Also, I'm giving you for free my photography toolbox. You can download, the link is below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the little subscribe button and the little bell so you get a notification every time I do a free video. All right, so let me show you this new option that came out in Photoshop. I love it. All right, guys, so I want to show you this new option that's awesome on the Contour Award Feel. So back in the day before this update, and right now I'm using uh, Photoshop CC uh, 20.00. Okay, that's the latest release from the Creative Cloud. So back in the day, um, let's say I want to erase this little thing here in the water. I used to basically go around it with the lasso tool, which is L for lasso tool. And then I would go to edit, fill, or shift delete, and then content aware. Okay, and then you would basically pray and hope that it would work. And check this out. And in a lot of the time, it wouldn't work because it took this and it put it there. So I'm going to press Command Z to undo. And I'm going to show you the new option. So now, instead of going to Edit Fill, you go to Edit Content Aware Scale. No, sorry, Content Aware Fill. So, so you go to Edit Content Aware Fill. Okay, and there you got a whole bunch of new options. You've got like some weird green things. I'm going to make it simple for you. Uh, basically, on the right side, you, you have the result, and on the left side, you have um, in uh, basically in green, it's what I did not select. Okay, what you can see here, what I selected, and basically, you're telling the software anywhere where there is green, please sample some data from there and put it there. Okay, now you can see right off the bat, it did a better job. The reason is um, in the fill setting, the default option is when you do content or word fill, like with shift delete like I did before, the content adaptation is on none. And you see on none, let me zoom in, we get the same result that we had before, basically a bad result. So by going to this window, you can use this option of default, which usually gives much better results. Check this out. It's already almost not perfect, but it's much better. And you can basically color adaptation is just, you know, it's going to try to just do a better job, you see? And sometimes high and very high are gonna do worse job. In this case, uh, it is doing a worse job. I think uh, the best has been default. And often default is the best. Now, the problem is that it's bringing some of that blue back here, okay? So that's the great thing about it is you can, by default you have a brush and like any tool in Photoshop, if you press Control and Alt and left and right, you can make that brush bigger or smaller. And basically, by brushing your, uh, your with a, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. Press Z for zoom out and option delete so you can see. And I'm going to click here on the brush. You see here it's on minus. The idea is I'm telling the software do not use, only use the data where there is green to uh, fill in the missing information. So by doing that, it's you see it's, it's working, it's working, it's going to basically force of using this data, which is done here, the lighter part of the color, and it's getting getting a much better result. It's almost perfect. Let's see if we can do better. I'm going to erase this, and I'm going to erase this. So I'm forcing the software to basically only use the data, the data that's under uh, than above. And let's see here. Is it going to do a little? Yeah, it's not so bad. It's actually, yeah, it's actually pretty good. And voila. So. Uh, rotation ad adaptation is only when you have like a motif that's rotating. I'm not going to use it. You can press scale and mirror and just see what it does. Basically, scale is supposed to, yeah, in this case, scale did a better job. I mean, it, it added a bit more of a black here, so I can turn it off and see what I like the most. S the idea of scale is that when it's going to copy and paste stuff, it's going to try to make it uh, feel in, a, in the same perspective. Of course, it's never going to do a perfect job. You can go, you know, usually I go back in with uh, the stem tool at 50% opacity. I'm going to show that to you right now. Uh, mirror, 
you, mirror is basically also going to try to copy and mirror the, the texture. You just press and see if you like it to make it simple. Okay, and uh, actually mirror did a pretty good job on this. I actually really like this. And the output, I like to put the output on the new layer. So I choose the option of new layer and you see now on the new layer, command D to undo this. On the new layer, uh, and that's a little bug. Okay, now it's on. I have just uh, the pixel. If I press the option Alt and click on this, you can see only this layer. So it's basically only showing the corrections, okay? And uh, usually I fine tune it with uh, the stem tool. So S with stem tool, you make it big and then you lower the opacity of the stem tool to mix the texture, okay? And here there's a bit of something left. So I'm gonna press Alt here to copy these pixels here, but I'm not copying fully. I'm only copying 50%. And usually that's going to do a perfect job. I think I want to do a little more here and voila. And so let me show you another example. This is a photo. I'm going to undo that. This is a photo I shot of the Louvre alone exposure photo, but there was like a little family there. So L for lasso tool, or you can click on a lasso tool. I'm going to make a lasso here of the little family. And again, if I press shift delete, which is what I used to do, content aware, okay. Um, I'm pretty sure the result is going to be pretty bad. Yeah, pretty unusable. So command Z. Again, I'm going to go to edit, content aware fill. And here comes the magic. And right off the bat, you see it's doing a good job. It's doing a little better job. Why? Because we have this color adaptation on default. Okay, let's see if high is going to give me a better job. But I need to have the software. Basically, I need to have the software and tell him what to use and what not to use. So uh, let me actually zoom, go here. So by default, you got a brush that's minus. I'm gonna make it big. Basically, I don't want him, him to use the top here. So I'm just gonna take that out, take that out. Same thing here, I'm gonna take that out and see what's gonna happen now. Is it gonna give me a better result or not? Yeah, it's already a little bit, but I'm, of course it's not perfect, but it's way better than what I had before. And uh, okay, let's see. And now look at this. Uh, you see how this is kind of bigger? I'm hoping that scale is going to make uh, this um, column uh, a little nicer. It's not, that's all right. And honestly, it's a little bit of, uh, it's a little bit of, uh, of, uh, you know, it's still a little bit of praying to, to make it work. Every time I try it, like when I prepared this tutorial, I was trying things, uh, the result were all different. I can try, I can go back in here and go plus and add a bit more of this texture maybe and see how this go here. It's gonna go here. Um, and, uh, but it, it's still way better than what we had before. And then I'm gonna show you how to fix the rest. Yeah, it's much better. Okay, I kind of like that. Uh, now I'm gonna press, I'm gonna go here and I'm actually, instead of doing new layer, I'm gonna go duplicate layer. And what duplicate layer is going to do is gonna create a, a complete new layer with the corrections, okay? And then uh, I can go in there and on this one, I'll use a different trick. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna take the, uh, the polygon lasso tool and I'm gonna make like a selection here and here, okay, I'm gonna make a selection like this. So I'm making like a rough selection. Voila, I can press enter. So here's my section and I'm gonna press the lasso tool, the, sorry, the stem tool with S here and I'm gonna make it small and I'm gonna take uh, this texture here. I'm gonna make this 100%, I'm gonna copy it there. Voila. Press Command D to undo to make a definite line. So let's see the before, after. It's kind of looks still weird here a little bit that it's so straight, but you know, I can go in there and make some more changes, make it a little more random. Actually, this was too much. I'm gonna Command Z to undo. Um, come in. I'm gonna lower the opacity of the uh, brush and just add back some texture there so it doesn't look so much straight. And, you know, at the end of the day, this is such a small detail on, on a big photo like this. I don't think anybody is going to see anything. And honestly, I would spend a little bit more time on it. But the purpose of this tutorial was to show you, look at this, 
how amazing this new Contourant Aware Feel option is. And it, you know, it was something I was almost never using before and now I find using it more and more. Hope you like this tutorial. Um, you can actually download um, these two photos I'm giving you here. And you can even, I'm gonna give you the raw files as a little game. And you can try to mimic my retouching. If you, you know, don't have a chance to go to Paris, you can download these source files and you can even post them on social media and just tag me at, at photo search. Just tag me at photo search. And uh, because, you know, I took the photo, but I'm curious to see how you are going to edit this raw file. All right, guys, I'll see you in another video. All right, guys, I hope you like this. Don't forget to download my photographic toolbox, which is really cool. It's going to give you some amazing preset textures, brushes, and tutorials on how to use them. Also, don't forget to like this video if you did like it and to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. And I will see you in another video.